Welcome back, my loyal subjects of Funk, to a brand new a Let a Funk a King a player. And yes, it is ob Oblivion, and I know what a lot of you are thinking. You're thinking, King, why didn't you just play Skyrim? Well, the answer is very simple. I'm saving up for a brand new computer, and I'm hoping that um, I can get that sometime I in April. Um, so I thought in the meantime, up until For that point, I'm going to play Oblivion. And when the new computer, the there's Patrick Stewart, by the way, talking shop. For I think we all know the story years. by now. Um, when that computer comes out, when I get it, then I'll play Skyrim and max the settings out. But for now, I think it might be just wise to play Oblivion up until that point. And I do really want to play it. I was thinking about playing... Um, I was thinking about playing... That's just a customised bit of character here. I was thinking about playing um, Arena, but um, I decided against it at the last minute. There we go, go light brown. Just, I'm not going to do much editing on this character. I'll add some age to him. I'll put his complexion up a little bit. Right. I think that'll do. I think that's a wise character there. He's, he's ageing a bit. Good age, I think, and we'll go done. So yeah, I'm going to be playing Skyrim and we'll max the graphics out on that when i got my new computer. But for now, I think we'll just play a little bit of Oblivion and um, that'll do us. So yes, obviously we start inside a jail and like in most um, games like this, you're captured or you're, you're in custody in some shape or form. And we've got a dark elf there, token shop from the other side of the uh, cells. So yeah, whatever. Imperial criminal scum like Our fellas will turn up, Patrick Stewart will turn up, he's the emperor of uh, this place, and hopefully everything will go smoothly. Bang, 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 bang. Um, and also another thing is that when I record games, technically I'm not recording them in 1080p, I'm recording them in 900p. Um, so when I get the new laptop, its resolution will be full 1080, which will be very nice. Or oh, I might get a desktop. I don't know. But either way, this is in a. My job right now is to get you to safety. I've put it in 50 What's FPS. It'll be higher than 30 most of the time, which is good, because most of the other games are recording a very low amount. Never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. He won't hesitate to kill you if you get I am standing way. back. And I've turned the um the sound of the game up as well. In uh, previous Let's Plays I've noticed that the game sounds a little bit too quiet for our liking. So I've turned that up a bit. Patrick Stewart. Is that right? Give me strength. They get some class voice actors for the Elder Scrolls like. We've got a bit of Sean Bean in here as well that we will meet later on as a priest. By chance, the end Right, we'll skip past all this because obviously we're escorting um, we're Please escorting the uh, the emperor, who's going through these underground passages because uh, there's some nasty people after him. And I always remember it comes a point in which you have to, um, or the emperor gets hurt by um, some bad boys who come through the holes in the wall and stuff. And I always remember always restarting the game and trying to stop him getting killed. That exact point where it's going to come out and I thought, I wonder if I can cheat the game here and kill the uh, the thing before it gets him. And I kept restarting the game. But I didn't understand the game too well at that time. And um, unfortunately, that's just the way it was. Oh, just accidentally clicked the auto save button. Close up left. Protect the Emperor. Oh dear. We could get the old fisticuffs out here. Now I have to play this on my I have to play this on my um older graphics card, the Intel 3000, because it just will not recognise the um an, a later card, which is a bit of a problem really, because as you can see it will skip and judder occasionally. Now I used to take the hoods off these back in the day because I thought it looked cool but um, no I could take the katana by the way you've noticed I haven't taken the katana it gets taken off you when you leave this spot so I've opted to just leave it here because when you get out the sewers the katana will disappear from your inventory see you later right let's get that we'll, un 
unequip those shackles as well because we're not a slave anymore are we right come on you bad buggers here we go here we go Jesus Christ I actually I tweaked the settings a little bit before I tried to record this first time on I tweaked the settings a little bit because we were lo we were using losing sorry a couple of um losing a couple of frames with the settings I had it on previous something to do with the graphics card not my computer but there we go and it's a lot smoother now we'll stick that on see there we go we just lost some again it's whenever enemies come we'll use this wait oh I thought, I thought it would have you know smacked right into that column wasn't the case though take some rap mate because I, I like a bit of alchemy and uh, I actually prefer a lot of the things about this game like the um, oh what I prefer about this game to perhaps oblivion I mean a uh, um, Skyrim is that hold on a minute is that things seem to me to be a little bit more useful alchemy seems to be a little bit more useful at least in leveling you up and I know some people don't like that because people just sit and like churn out a thousand portions just to level up which is annoying but the, the leveling up system in this is quite good because if you get to a certain um, when you level up the abilities that you've been really proficient in get certain bonuses when you level up so if I was just to level up in alchemy all the time the the enemies would be leveling up in different areas like physical abilities and if I came against them with a sword it would be a bit of a problem let's have a look see what we've got to equip now yeah he's looking cool already he's looking very cool in fact I'm not gonna bother with the shield because I, I, I like the sort of character that's going to use a long sword, a single handed long sword not a two handed sword um, and that should be good enough let's have a look in this rusty dagger, we've already got one of them so I do want to just be a bit of a meathead with a sword and I'll save the archery perhaps for um, a different Elder Scrolls game. Actually, saying that, let's let's give the old archery a go. Let's equip the rusty bow. Shit. I used to be really good with this, mind you. But the moment. Where the fuck's that rat? Hiding behind that pillow. Shit. Oh, good. I thought the <laughs> the ball was going to lose itself. Come here. Got some epic sneak on the go. We'll level we'll level up here by doing this. Free abilities in sneak. Oh, what the fuck! Haha. <laughs> oh man, I thought I would have caught that. Come here. We're only getting plus two from sneak attacks at the moment, so that's uh, not very good. Um, what was the button? If you press Q. No, it's not Q. Oh, yeah. It's a uh, caps lock, and you can run all the time. Which is probably better for us, because uh, we seem to be alright in the fatigue area. Um, hmm. I'm going to get both of them. I'm not going to use them. Because, uh,. I'll, I'll perhaps use the greaves. I think they will be valuable to us. Down here, by the way, there's a zombie. And this zombie is really annoying to kill. What the fuck? Shit. Shit! The headshots don't really do much on this as well. Uh, 
Um, oh shit, yeah, you have to... <laughs> to get your arrows back, you have to literally fire them into the ground. And why the hell didn't these attack us, by the way? Good. There's no way to stop your arrows, I think, in this game from uh, loosen by the self. Hopefully we can get out of here this session. And get outside the sewer and the next session I've got some other cool things planned. Wasted too many arrows here. Get some rat meat because we're going to get the alchemy stuff soon. I, I, I'm a stickler for alchemy, I love it. That's how you do it, guys. Here we go. We've attracted the uh, the wrath of some rats. Sit down, Ratatouille. Shit. Oh man, I thought I caught it in the mid air. That's all right, ducks. You get your light armor skill up. She's exactly what you want, really, to get the old light armor skill up. Two arrows and some rat meat. I'm gonna try and do this with uh, saving as little times as possible in the game. Obviously, I'll do a save at the end of each session. Sit down. You are no match for the king. Athletic skills are oh, the old athletic skill. Yes, please. The athletic skill was class. Literally, just run around all day. I can't remember if you can uh, pick up um, enemies in this. Here we go. Right, so we've got a rat here. Shit. I love how they notice you as soon as you get the uh, attack on. What the hell? You piece of crap. Don't know how it did that. Yeah, let's collect all those hard earned arrows. We've got a lot of stuff in which we can sell when we get out of here. So I'm going to pick up, you know, literally as much stuff that's of value as possible for when we get to the first um, place in which we. Oh yeah, I like that. I like the casting ability in this game. Damn right, I like the casting ability. Just have to press C and you do some magic. I don't know if it's the same in uh, Skyrim. Come here, rat. Ha, yes. Marksman skill increased, and so it should have. The amount of uh, arrows we are pumping into things. Right. I know there's some goblins coming up now. And goblins can be uh, very ferocious. So we'll probably meet one or two of them in a minute. Take healing portion, free lick. Uh, pick locks. I do enjoy the pick lock a bit. There's so many things about this game I really like. It's it, it's a very funny series, the old Elder Scrolls series. I find that um, each game gets better, but in some ways gets worse as well. There's things that I miss from each one of them. There's things like I, I love about each one of them. They're all great games, but as I was saying... Sneak skill has increased. Oh, shit! Ha! <laughs> Sit down, rat. Okay. We'll be coming up to the goblins in a second. And we'll be able to take care of them. Oh, there's a little flawed ruby. I knew that was lying around here. Silver goblet isn't worth enough. Oh. Shit. 
And there we go, another freezer. I don't like this. I was hoping it wouldn't do stuff like this. But if it's going to do it, it's going to do it. Strange really, because other times it's doing, giving me, you know, 50, 60 FPS. And other times, it just wants to act like a bit of a tit. Let's go through. Bit of snake skill. There must be a gobelino around here. There we go. Oh, fuck. Why does it have to do that? Shit. Go away. That should have been dead. I wonder what it's going to recommend us as a, a character build when we finish this. We're going to get the mortar and pestle now. Which is ever so handy. There we go. The movi novice mortar and pestle. So let's go ahead and get some rat meat. I love a good RPG and I think on this channel I've been neglecting the older RPGs very much so. So it's very nice to get started on them again. Because I have played Baldur's Gate on here before but that's really it in the way of RPGs. My first ever test video actually for the channel almost two uh, years ago was for Ha! <laughs> was for Skyrim and you can watch that it's, it's my very first video is just me testing out the computer for Skyrim and I loved it so I do plan on doing a lot more um, RPGs in the future and this is going to be the first one that I do that's full 3D I think as a, as a full let's player There we go. I'll probably create a custom character, you know, that uses magic and stealth abilities. And particularly light armor. Or even heavy armor as well. I'm going to create quite a, an interesting character. That's right, fuck off. Ha ha ha! Got a shot on him before he died. And in fact, one on the logs. Usually, I like to fight them just for the experience, as opposed to uh, letting the logs roll down. Got a lot of lockpicks here. As oh, fuck! It's my first lockpick broken, people. First lockpick gone. Dead as doornails. Getting a lot of portions here. And obviously, when I get out of here, I can't wait to get started in the next part, which will be. Um, there's a cave directly opposite which we can raid. Come on! Haha, <laughs> didn't even get a hit on me. Don't know how we did that. Let's see what it's got. Two lockpicks, I'll take them every day. Let's go ahead and squat. There's a shaman over there. And the last thing we want is to incur the wrath of the shaman. Yes. Oh, fuck. That's right, sit down. I thought its head came off then. But it didn't. Marksman skill, gold piece, rat meat. So, in uh, next month, I'm going to be going down to... Uh, Wales to play a week of Dungeons and Dragons so playing some RPGs like this is really going to get me in the mood oh shit oh what the fuck piss off that took a lot of hammer that so yeah I'm playing some of these to get in the mood for the old RPGs when I go down to Wales to do uh, a week's worth of Dungeons and Dragons. I spent ages creating my character already because I'm so damn keen. Oh shit. Oh. 
just drop some frames. See, I am obviously dropping a couple of frames in combat. I don't know why. Shit, it judged me. But um, it's nothing unmanageable. So I can still enjoy this game immensely, and I hope you can as well. There we go. Right, marksman skill increased again. Is that right alive? Oh, he's alive. Might as well get the uh, sneak attacks on the rats because it's an easy form of experience income, should we say. I want to get my ability up with the old uh, short sword as well. And sneaking. So I always play an archer and I bet that's quite... I don't know if that's boring to watch when watching... Uh, oh, fuck. Nice haul. I, I don't know if that's boring to watch when we... Uh, when you when you watch people play Skyrim or RPGs, but um, because everyone seems to do it, I'm especially good with a bow on Skyrim. But that's uh, probably the way this is going to turn out. I can't I can't help it, guys. I can't help using the older bow and arrow. Chest, seven iron arrows, two lock picks. I've got the difficulty on medium at the moment. We should probably perhaps think about increasing it. Because with this game, how it works is that you get um, more experience the higher the difficulty. I remember I played through it on me absolute low difficulty once. And I was so I couldn't believe my character was only level 8 when I completed it. Which was just piss poor. Ah. Okay, this is beautiful. Oh shit. That's me there, I got him, I got him, give me credit. What do you want? Oh, he's saying something to me, no, but it's not actually good. He is not one of them. I am not one of them. Can help us. Oh, this is why I get to pick my star sign. As you wish, sire. Which is stunning. They cannot understand why I trust you, says Patrick Stewart. We should probably be listening no to everything he's got to say. Just for the beautiful voice hand. box of Patrick Stewart. The nine guide and protectors. Right, okay, the apprentice um, confers 100 points bonus to your magicka at attribute, but gives you a 100% weakness to magic. Not very good at all. Um, so we don't really want that actually. Don't want a weakness to magic, it'd be the worst thing ever. The thief gives a, a 10 point bonus to your speed, agility, and luck. Is he an archer one? There's a, a, a warrior, a tower, steed, 20, per, 20 to speed, which is quite good. The lover, the lord. The Atronach. I'm going to probably go with the thief then because 10 points in agility, speed and luck is... Oh, that's, that's not that good, is it? Maybe we should just go for warrior. Strength and endurance scope. I don't know. It's a tough one. Lord, points of up to ninety points of help. Health. Oh, that's pretty good as well. We'll probably have to go with the thief though, because I can't see any other reason for using any of the other uh, things. I'm not going to be magical. That's for certain. My, path. my death, a necessary end. Is that will right? Come when it will come. That's awful. Right, so but in your face, Emperor Uriel Septim's death is soon to come. And I think, oh, to guys, grave, a tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow, follow me, me yet for a while. So, in the next session, guys, we're going to have a little bit of Emperor Uriel Septim getting killed. So, all I can say is thank you ever so much for watching and goodbye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.